M0FXP ATS Mini Remote Software by Kilo Delta 8 Quebec Echo Delta. So we've scrolled to the bottom here and we've purchased this software, which gives you Windows control and looks like this kind of thing. Okay, so we scroll to the bottom, we purchased and we've now received this link here after downloading. The purchase was $10, but in the UK that was like £7, which is easily worth it for full PC control. Now I've just got my, you know, my mini controller just here where my finger is. USB cable is there and it's plugged into my PC. We're going to go right click device manager and then just follow the instructions. So my port number is, oh, I've got two there. I better make sure I've unplugged something. Okay, there you are. So we're left with one, COM27. Now there is a warning on the site that says, at the bottom here, it says make sure you've got the ESP32 S3 16 megabyte version, which mo I would say most of us have got that. It's that, you know, well, you see it in, my, in, the, in the link, just where my finger is there. So then it says open this link here. So all I do is right click, and go open a new tab and that brings me here. I'm going to hit the word connect and then find the COM port, which we said was 27, didn't we? There it is there, connect. Okay. Auto detecting, it's moving me out of the way. Uh, so I haven't done anything, it's just doing this on its own. And, oh. Does it want me to choose anything? So chip type, well, it's S-Tub is now running, detecting flash size, uh, flash manufacturer, flash device, auto detect flash size. Okay, so that's what it's done so far. And the instructions say here, the radio will turn off briefly, as you can see. Under choose file, select the binary file from the unpacked firmware archive that we received the one ending in dot bin and choose one of the four upload options with the naught times naught uh, click program to begin the upload flashing process do this at your own risk of course uh, once flashing is complete turn the radio off and on again if the firmware behaves strange it is often due to leftover data from an older firmware in that case use the sp esp tool to erase the entire flash before uploading okay so i'm gonna choose file see if i can find the one that we just got pretty sure i saved it on my desktop here and what did i call it there's a little file that i created and put it in there mini windows it was called so I'll double click it and there, there's only one bin file there. So uh, I'm going to choose it like so. Uh, yeah, that's uh, where it says it here. Look, ATS mini. And then we're going to hit program, which says you've got arrays here. You've got programs. So I'm just going to do that and uh, just keep watching. We've got some notifications there uh, it says image header writing data oh yeah you can see at the top there you got this green bar sliding along that's definitely feels better that you can see that and so the whole point of this now is it's going to give us out an ip address uh, and then we'll be able to link to that IP address, which then we, we can control it. And if a, a device of this size is so small and fiddly to use, to just sit back on your PC um, is nice, isn't it? So, so it says here, let's have a look. Please reset, which I guess is just a matter of turning it on and off. So we'll do that. Let's just go off then on and something's happening 
and it says I'm going to try and get this big so you can see it and sorry about this I'm just I'm doing this with you as you as always as I always do welcome to the ATS mini remote edition click encoder button to continue uh, to see the screen again back to the screen so it's all loaded very pleased about that let's move on to see if we can get to the the interface now so it says enable AP mode and see that little red Wi-Fi so all I did was press pressed it settings you know press it I'll do that again press once then go to settings press again and then I went up and down to Wi-Fi and then I went to AP Connect and it briefly gave the 10.1.1.1, okay? So now it's, you know, it's enabled. So now if we go to your Wi-Fi, look, you want to connect to it. So we're looking around here, it says ATS Mini. So we're going to click that and connect. And then we put in 10.1.1.1. You can see that we're... We're now connected we've got this information ip address firmware it says what we're on etc so let's just uh, go to desktop remote let's see if i can there you are Whew. let's get my get me out of the way we don't need me in the way and then we're just going to start tinkering with this so yeah, you can see that actually we do need to see this, don't we? So you can see what effect what I am doing is having. Let me get an antenna on there. And we just start flicking round. So you don't, oh, you do. You can turn the knob here and you can see the signal meter. Yeah, the volume going up and down. Let's go, you've got bandwidth. I want to go to the different band. So band plus and minus. So let's try and get some HF. And you can see as I flick through the devices is, is, is changing. I think this is excellent. So we look at all the different bands. You've got the signal meter, it looks really nice. I'm trying to find the HF bands. Is that one there? Yeah, that looks like it. Then we want the mode. Uh, where's the mode? Oh, I could see it there. I can see it on the device. Just I couldn't see it on here, but on the device, I could see that I'm now in LSB. Now, is it at the bottom? It says here mode USB. Let me just quickly change that. So I'm pressing the wrong one, sorry. Yeah, it's at the very bottom. LSB, LSB, yeah, right at the bottom here. Hopefully, just making sure you can see that. Move it up a bit. But along the bottom here, step, bandwidth, volume, ADC, everything you're doing is there. And I just want you to clearly see that Let's get the device big a minute. I just want you to clearly see that as I change, that it changes. I'm getting everything out of the way here. See that? I'm as I change and I you turn you click and you turn the knob. But you can see it's changing, slight delay, but you can see that it is changing. So you are completely linked to your device. So now it would be as good as your antenna. And uh, let's get the volume up. I'm not sure what the conditions are like on HF. Like so. And, hmm. Okay, we've, okay, we've tuned, tuned in, in there. there. You can just, you can just about, about hear it. Hear it. Probably makes, Probably makes sense, sense to, to add an, add an external, external speaker. speaker. Let's hit the DX thing. Ooh. Ooh. Cool. cool. Like that. 
Click here to visit DX, DX Watch. Watch. Close. Close. Settings. Settings. Themes, Themes selection. selection. So we can, so we can choose, choose our theme. theme. Uh, default, default is black, is black and, yellow. and yellow. I think that's what wrong. Eight. What's, Eight. What's all this? Kenwood, Kenwood style. style. Oh, I oh, see. I see. <laughs> So it's what so is not the actual, actual device. device. It's what it's we're what seeing in the background. You know, on the, you know, on the sorry, what we're seeing on the PC. PC. Okay, okay, we're going to explore this. this. As you can see, with volume, volume, soft mute, mute squelch, ADC, we can add memory channels, and so on and so on. And so on. so, uh, so uh, we'll come we'll back, come back with, a with a video fully using this new interface for the ATS Mini. Thanks so much. For watching, for watching my YouTube, YouTube channel, channel. Like, hit the like, hit the subscribe, subscribe catch, catch you on air, and of course, I'm always the first to show, to show this kind of stuff. Seven three, what a fantastic little piece of software! Piece of software. Massive, Massive thanks, thanks to John, to John. and, and want to get the call sign correct, correct which, which is K, K Kilo, Kilo Delta, Delta Eight Quebec Echo, Echo Delta. Delta. Massive, Massive thanks, John. Love it, love it. Listen, just excellent. Seven three.